one, so they'll have a nice crowd, a lot of blue in attendance. And for Pepperdine, to start things up, James Eady will be serving the 6'7 redshirt freshman. And on the offensive back row, Mitch Romanes, but knocked down by Martin De Chavaria, as well as uh, Ethan Watson and Cole Kachansky. Waves come in as a team hitting 327, Brigham Young at 290. Pepperdine held their opponents to just a 217 hitting percentage. The Cougars have held their opponents to a 277 hitting percentage. At this time, Luke Benson gets the kill. For the Cougars, they come in, they actually started the season at 7 and 1. You see Martin De Chavaria, the transfer from New Jersey Institute of Technology out of the Eastern Intercollegiate Volleyball Association, where he was a four time all conference player, one of the top blockers in the nation, ranks number six at 1.22 blocks per set. Great save by Bernardo Adam. Waves on the offensive back row. Akeem Wumi drops it in. And the Waves take a two to one lead. On the road this year, the Cougars are four and two. As we mentioned, they started the year at seven and one, but they have dropped four of their last six. And the other thing for BYU, they have been off for 13 days. Their last match on March the 9th at Stanford, they were beaten three sets to none. Pepperdine played last Saturday, knocking off Concordia. They've won six in a row and seven of eight. Nice job by Pepperdine to keep it in play. Dish Chabaria hits it over. They go outside, and it's Mix Romanus, one of the best outside hitters in the country. The 6'6 junior from Walnut Creek, California, 157 kills, and comes in 294. He was first team all conference last year, an honorable mention All American. This is Gavin Julian, the 6'8 senior middle blocker out of Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. Pepperdine again 10 and 2 at home this year. Winners of six in a row. Nice touch by Trey Cole on the other outside. That is Kachansky able to get the kill. So Pepperdine is playing really well. They're sharp. They have that edge. The timing is there because they played just a couple days ago. For Brigham Young, the big question is how much will the layup hurt them? They're going to come in with a lot of energy, well rested. But will they be as sharp as usual, not playing in 13 days and sitting on a 3 nothing loss against Stanford back on March the 19th? That shot goes long by Benson, attack air, and the Waves off to a good start in set one. And taking a 4-2 lead in Cole Kajanski. Four years at UCLA, 2021, he was honorable mention All-American with the Bruins. He's currently... Leading Pemberdine with 246 kills and hitting 330 from the outside. But that uh, serve misses wide and it's four to three. That's Tyler Herget, the transfer from Penn State where he was a reserve last year. And starting for the Cougars, 6'2 sophomore from Darien, Connecticut, averaging 9.19 assists per set. And a big offensive threat, only 11 kills. 4-3, Pepperdine, set one off the blocks, Ryan Barnett. Barnett is 6'5", sophomore, with 155 kills and hitting 325. Well, your outside hitters for Pepperdine, Barnett, 325. Kachansky, 330. Those are big numbers. Get your outside hitters to hit 300 to 350. You know you're doing a good job. And Ryan Graves, the freshman setter, was the offensive player of the week with those wins over USC and Concordia. This is Martin De Chavaria. Hitting 370 on the year and a service air. Are serving so important for both teams. The Waves have out aced their opponents 100 to 85. Brigham Young at 96. Their opponents also 96. But the Cougars, they have a big win over UCLA a couple weeks ago. They did split the two matches, but that's a big victory back row. Good chance to the Waves, because they're not real tall, but they're extremely athletic. They run a, a lot of back row attack, and Ryan Gray's been doing a great job 
averaging 7.94 assists per set. He had been sharing the setter duties with Tyler Stewart, another talented freshman at 6-5 out of Colorado. But Gray's been playing well, and he's in there tonight. 6-5 to five in the service here. You can see the Cougar bench up. And so the Cougars to bring it into play. That's Tion Taylor. Middle blocker, 6-6 six, six in the jump floater. Gray's a quick set there. As the wedge go with James Eady in the middle, outside and getting the kill. The opponent Brown, and we're even at six. When the wave starting James Eady, who had not played that much recently, we thought we'd see Ethan Anderson, the freshman, who technically is leading the nation in heading at 571, a six eight first year player. But apparently he is at least not starting tonight off the blocks. And once again, the Cougars uh, missing 7-6 to six Pepperdine. And James Eady, 6-7, redshirt freshman out of Newport Beach. Uh, Keen to Keem Woomi. He was all-conference last year as a middle blocker. Now back at the outside hitter at 6'5". He's got a jump and reach of over... 40 inches, the waves on a quick attack. Uh, on a strong serve by Akeem, Akeem Wumi, who had 39 aces last season. But James Eady has only played in 13 sets, has nine kills, hitting 368, and he has a total of 10 blocks. Well, he's getting the call tonight against a very good Brigham Young team, who these teams will meet again tomorrow at 5 p.m. 11 on ESPN Plus. Luke Benson from the outside. Well, Benson, 6'7", junior, Southern California product. There you see Sean Olmstead, who actually coached Brigham Young's women's volleyball team. 2012, he won the conference and was the WCC Coach of the Year. And currently, his sister, Heather, heads up Brigham Young's women's volleyball team, a service ace. Well, the Cougars... Uh, with Capono Brown, the transfer from Stanford, where he played alongside Jalen Jasper, who played two years with Pepperdine, was a two-time All-American, I think now on the U.S. National Beach team. Capono Brown, and he got another ace. Let's see if the Waves are going to challenge that. Waves had a pretty good look at it. And it was ace for Brigham Young. Grand Canyon atop the league standings at 7-0, followed by UCLA at 5-1. Only other match going on involving the NBSF is Grand Canyon and Zach Concordia, and Grand Canyon won last night. Waves on the offensive as Ryan Barnett covered by Brigham Young on the backside. Brown touched there by the Waves. Graves, they go back outside. Kachansky. Uh, for a team that defeated UCLA, and that was in Brobo, they did lose twice to Grand Canyon at home, and that got everybody's attention when Grand Canyon went into Provo and beat the Cougars twice. They drew over 4,000 in that second match when Brigham Young took on Grand Canyon. Outside, Luke Benson again. Well, Benson off to a great start. Benson, the Southern California product, leads the team with 178 kills, hitting 316. He's an excellent ball handler. Returning starter with 71 digs. And a service air side out to Pepperdine. So the Waves, who were picked six out of the 17 league, and BYU was picked third alongside Grand Canyon. Well, they settled in the last couple of weeks in the NBSF tournament at USC this year, April 17th through the 20th. Mm -hmm. Getting the kill, Gavin Julian, the middle blocker, hitting 4-10, the 6'8 senior from Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. 73 kills on the year. Last season hit 433, an honorable mention all-conference. As the Cougars finished in second at 8-4. The UCLA weighs over the middle. Martin de Chavarria. And a four-time all-conference player at New Jersey Institute of Technology. And Graves does such a nice job in getting that quick attack and fending off that block. All right, Pepperdine. 
And BYU tied at 11 apiece. Good strong serve. The Cougars struggle. And the Waves able to knock it over. Barnett and Dave Chavaria both there. Waves take the lead 12 to 11. Watch BYU with a great history in men's volleyball. They love their volleyball in Provo at the Smithfield House. They've averaged this year over 3,500 per match. Service air. And tonight we're going to have around 04, maybe 500 on hand at Firestone Fieldhouse. That seats about 3,100. Not a bad day here along the coast, about 65 degrees. Sun was out and there was blue skies. But they're expecting rain possibly late tonight and through the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. All right, the Cougars serving waves on the offensive. A cane Wumi off the blocks. Boy, the waves ball handling, probably their strength of this team. And they come in as the team hitting 327. It's well executed. Watch it again. Uh, nice play back there as they get the ball to Akeem Wumi. Double blockers were there. 13 to 12, Pepperdine, De Chavaria. Palma de Mallorca, Spain, and the Spain's junior national team. Ball popped up. Kachansky hits it twice. The Waves get it over and score. James Eady. Looking at the sidelines to see if Ethan Watson he is suited up. Well, we may see him, we may not, but he's been playing so well. But the way it's going with another talented redshirt freshman in James Eady. 14 to 12, Pepperdine for a set. Back row attack. Firing away Luke Benson. It's the best three out of five. First four sets, they'll play to 25. You must win by two. There is no cap. If it goes to a set five, they will play to 15. Again, you must win by two, and there is no ceiling. All right, this is Mick Romanus. All-American outside hitter, strong jump serve, the overpass. They stuff it over the middle. Benson and Taylor both there. Romanus with 13 aces on the year. Capono Brown leads the team with 26. And we're even at 14. This figures to go at least four, probably five sets. There's two outstanding programs. Uh, jump serve again. The Waves struggle with it. On the offense of Brigham Young, Capono Brown off the blocks. Waves out cold. Does a great job to keep it in play. Waves able to get it over. Outside, Benson pounds it. Pepperdine with it. Graves, quick attack. James Eady. <laughs> off 13 days and how much will that affect them if anything and Pepperdine very sharp played a couple days ago and they're playing at home against the Cougars and once again Luke Benson so Benson off to a great start already with six kills and hitting almost 600 Kachansky leading Pepperdine with three Akeen Akeemwumi also with three kills and James Eady with three and we're even at 15 and John Stanley comes in, 6'2", senior from Honolulu. Outside hitter, defensive specialist to serve. Jump serve. Trey Cole receives. They go outside. Barnett and the Waves cannot get it over. Cougars 16, Pepperdine 15. For BYU, after this weekend, they're home against Concordia. They've already gotten Grand Canyon and UCLA out of the way, and that, that win over UCLA may be good for a tiebreaker to keep the Cougars up. higher up in the standings. Akeem Wumi goes deep and gets the kill. And the Waves are executing, receiving, and ball handling and getting a high percentage shot. 16-16, set number one. Now Adam back in. Capono Brown also checks in. Bobo, Utah, about 45 miles southeast of Salt Lake City. As they play now in the Big 12 Conference. Service here, side out. Brigham Young, 17-16 Cougars. And now Brigham Young now in the Big 12 after 12 years in the West Coast Conference. And BYU competitive, made it to the NCAA men's tournament lost in the first round 
yesterday to Duquesne, a tough game, a service error. Their women's team played at Santa Clara, also out of the West Coast Conference in the newly women's basketball invitational tournament, lost the heartbreaker 60 to 59. Their women's soccer team made it all the way to the national championship, losing the heartbreaker to Stanford 2 0 in quite a year. With the women's soccer team, Jennifer Rockwell, one of the top coaches in the country at BYU, outside Benson one more time. Boy, the Waves are going to have to make an adjustment on that. He's getting open. Doing a nice job. Hergat finding Benson. Only one on one on the outside, and that was the center, Ryan Graves. 18 17 Cougars. There's Pemberdine, a member of the West Coast Conference. Nine schools strong, Kachansky from the outside. But next season, the West Coast Conference will expand once again. They will add Washington State and Oregon State into the WCC for at least two years in most sports. Men and women's basketball, men and women's soccer, baseball, tennis, golf, you name it. So the conference in the WCC will go 11 strong. Ace for the Waves on Ryan Graves, the freshman setter. 19-18 Pepperdine. We're in set number one. They've gone back and forth in an absolute tug of war. So the conference will go back to 11 schools. Not in every sport, but just about every one. They jousted the net. Won by the Cougars. Cougars keep it in play. They go outside to Romanus. Waves trying to keep it in play. No. And hits the floor and a point for Brigham Young. In the Mount Pacific Sports Federation, they are changing. Of course, you have a lot of Division II schools playing Division I men's volleyball. Currently about 57 overall. But next year, Vanguard and Menlo, two lower division programs, Vanguard and Costa Mesa, Menlo and Northern California, will join the Mount Pacific Sports Federation in men's volleyball. Bringing the conference to nine schools and getting close to 60 overall in Division I men's volleyball. Nice block up front by the Cougars and then firing away Martin De Chavarria. I mean, he's really good. Number 10. Again, ranks number six in the nation, averaging 1.22 blocks per set. And he's hitting 370 on top of everything else and comes in with 93 kills, leaves Pepperdine with 83 blocks. He's 6'7", a graduate from Palma de Mallorca, Spain. And you see Sean Olmsted, who played his volleyball at Brigham Young. He was a top libero, graduated in 2005. 2019 Pepperdine, set one. Waves on the offensive, Akeem Wumi pounds it, able to score. Pepperdine 21, BYU 19. Going to get a timeout taken by the Cougars. We're in set one. The Waves have the lead. 600 in set one. Brigham Young 474. Both teams executing at a high level. Waves have 16 kills and 25 attempts. Only one attack air. On the backside, Brown. Waves able to knock it down over the middle. Quick hitter. Deion Taylor. Taylor hitting 463, leading Brigham Young, 82 kills, the 6'6 junior from Las Vegas. 2020, Tion Taylor was the Nevada State Player of the Year and led the Cougars last season with 135 kills, wearing number 21 for BYU. It's 21 to 20 in the first set. Pepperdine tapped over by De Chavaria, kept in play by the Cougars, knocked down by Pepperdine. Adams sets, they go outside. The shot was a touch. See, the Cougars may challenge this. The call on the court was a tech air, point to Pepperdine, but Brigham Young fell, so see about the call. And the Cougars will win the challenge. It was touched. And so that changes things. We're tied at 21. Again, each coach gets three challenges. If you win your challenge, you keep them. If you lose them, you're down one. If it does go to a set five, each coach will get an additional challenge. Okay, here we get the setter to deliver. Jump serve, great top spin. Waves go outside, Barnett. Cover by BYU. They chousted the net one by Brigham Young, but the Waves get it back.
Comes outside, Ramones, nice save by Cole. Out to Akeem Wumi, off the blocks. And the point for Brigham Young, Capono Brown. A big defensive stop. Pepperdine wants a timeout. The Cougars get the lead, 22 to 21. Also there, Tion Taylor. 22 21, Brigham Young. Friday evening here in Southern California. Teams meet again tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We'll have it on ESPN Plus. Plays on the offensive. They go to Barnett and able to get the point. Uh, actually, mistimed it and worked in his favor. The blockers were there and able to drop it in. We're even at 22. Over so Brigham Young, three national titles in men's volleyball, 1999, 2001, their last in 2004. Pepperdine, five national titles in men's volleyball, second most all time. We're going to get a violation uh, against Brigham Young. Let's take a look once again. Uh, nope, there was a service here. Point to Pepperdine, or point to Brigham Young. 23-22 Cougars. Mixed Romanus, the outside hitter. The Waves with five national titles in men's volleyball, but they'll last in 2005. Second most all-time to UCLA with 20. Off the blocks, it was uh, out of bounds. Uh, of a turn, no good. And Akina came wooing with the point. Now uh, we are even at 23. That's first set already, 30 minutes in length. It'll be Ryan Barnett, 6'5 sophomore. High toss, good jump serve, the overpass. Pepperdine Graves outside to Akeem Wumi who knocks it down. What a great set by Graves, finally Akeem, Akeem Wumi, 6'5. As we get a timeout taken by Morgan Young. Set point number one for the Waves, tempered outside hitter, round 6'5", senior from Honolulu. All right, Pepperdine trying to get this first set. Good jump serve, nice save by Adam. We'll go outside to Benson, and we'll go into overtime in set number one, 24-24. Fernando Adam with a nice set. And then got it to her get to Benson. Double blockers uh, wasn't enough. All right, Cougar serving, Tion Taylor. 6'6 six, six middle blocker. Akeem Wumi with a touch. They go back to Akeem Wumi and fires and gets the kill. Set point number two for Pepperdine. So in essence, Akeem Wumi set himself up. And it will be Akeem Wumi at the service line. Set point number two, 25-24 waves. And Ruby this year, only nine aces, but he's got a potent jump serve. Urgat goes on the backside, Brown. Akeem Wumi able to get the save outside. It is a great with the kill. It will be Brigham Young serving, moving left to right. And they're Blue uniforms, blue numbers, Capono Brown, jump serve. Waves able to handle the boy, Kachansky did a great job. And the Waves able to go outside and get the point, Ryan Barnett. Again, the Waves not a real big team, but extremely athletic and quick. They do a lot of back row attack and a quick attack in the middle. And Ryan Graves does an excellent job spreading the ball around and keeping the defense off balance throughout. Waves serving, take a one nothing lead. Outside, nice save by Trey Cole, having an All-American season, the libero, the senior, and Ryan Barnett again. By the Waves, able the ability to keep the ball in play and giving them a chance to get a point. Jonathan Winder, in just his second year, played for Pepperdine from 2005 through 2008, a four-time All-American. He was a 6'8 center on the backside. Uh, Brown, but oh, what a block by Dave Chavarria. He just has great timing, great court presence. Number 10, Martin Dave Chavarria. He's up 3-0 in set number one. 
or set number two, they took set number one, 26 24. A service air sent out to Brigham Young. So Jonathan Winder, before coming to Pepperdine, he was the head coach of Fresno State women's volleyball program for four years. And Luke Benson, the outside hitter serving for BYU. He was assistant at Washington women's volleyball program for three seasons. Waves on the offensive. Ooh, nice block up run by Taylor. They go over the middle again. The block up run by Pepperdine. Jake Chavaria. Oh, what a play by both these teams, so strong in the middle. And Tion Taylor for uh, BYU. 6'6", six, six, junior from Las Vegas. Ways serving 4-1 Pepperdine set number two. Back row goes out of bounds. Uh, Benson misfiring. 5-1 uh, Pepperdine. For the Waves and Cougars, they meet again tomorrow at 5 p.m. We'll have it on ESPN Plus. The Chansky jump serve, the transfer from UCLA. Cross court call, we get a whistle, let's see. And they get a violation against Pepperdine and a point to Brigham Young. Five to two. Tion Taylor coming back in. Mitch Raman is 23, and Tyler Hart are getting the setter. Right, Gavin Julian at the service line. He goes with the floater. Akeen Akeem Wumi with the touch. It comes back to Akeen, and the block up front. Hargett and Taylor defending. Five to three waves. Nice timing right there, double teaming Akeem Akeem Wumi. Gavin Julian once again. 6 8 senior. Service here, sent out to Pepperdine. Reds have won six in a row and seven of their last eight. They are 10 and 2 in this arena. Our officials for tonight's match. Matthew Laveau is the up official, Heather Pickett is the down official. Martin Dade Chavarria to serve. They go with the jump loader. Herget sets. Cougars get it over. Pepperdine again. Backside. They joust up front. Barnett. And now the Cougars. Shot no good. Dominus missing. No Pepperdine seven. Cougars three. The NCAA tournament uh, at Long Beach State this season. April 30th and May the 4th and Long Beach State currently the number one ranked team in the nation. Oh, a quick hitter there by Urget. A nice read. Again, he's not a big offensive threat with just 11 kills all season long, but he read it well and gets the point. We're looking for something else. Seven to four waves. But Long Beach State ranked number one this week, followed by Hawaii ranked second, then UCLA third. UCLA defending national champions. Back row, Ryan Omega. The waves coming up big. Cole Kachansky with the shot missing. And the ball goes unkept by Brigham Young. Seven to five, Pepperdine. Number four in the nation, UC Irvine this week. Grand Canyon comes in at number five. They've been a big surprise team this year. Waves on offense over the middle. James Eaton. We're going to say no. And that ball goes out of bounds. And Boink to Brigham Young, now 7-6. to six. A couple of tack errors, by the way, as you see. Bernardo Adam, number 15, the libero. Sixth ranked team is Stanford, who split with Brigham Young a couple weeks ago. Cole able to receive on the backside, tapped over. Cougars on offense, back row attack. Oh, what a block up front by Edie. They go back on the backside. Capono Brown this time gets the kill. Oh, what a block by Edie a moment ago. Seven to seven in the second set. Number nine won the first set, 26 to 24. 
18 ties and six lead changes. Right, Tyler Hergat is the center. He'll bring it into play. A nice run by BYU, four straight points. Akeem Wumi, ball knocked down, and a point for Brigham Young. Once again, Capona Brown, Tion Taylor, Adam the libero for Brigham Young. Waves ranked number eight, Brigham Young number seven. Just two really good teams squaring off. Continuing the rankings, Penn State number nine, Ohio State comes in at 10, the old Chicago 11, Ball State number 12. Waves that came Wumi with the block, Waves able to keep it in play. Akeem Wumi with the volley. Herget goes outside, Ramones, the return is good. Nice block up front by Pepperdine, rotating defensively, this time on Ramones. And we're even at eight in set number two, Ryan Barnett, the outside hitter. Well, USC comes in at 13, Lewis out of Illinois, 14, Princeton ranks number 15, 16, UC San Diego. George Mason, number 17, Cal State Northridge and McKendry come in at tied for 18th in Santa Barbara, ranked number 20. They have two wins over Santa Barbara. They beat Cal State Northridge on the road, split with Stanford. They have yet to play Grand Canyon. They close out the regular season. Great serve by Raman as I came Wilmy, pounds it, and able to get the point. Waves will play Grand Canyon April 11th and 12th in Phoenix. Meanwhile, the big match is coming up with double blockers there, but Akeem Wumi, a power hitter. Because Grand Canyon will be at UCLA April 5th and 6th, the big showdown. Grand Canyon at 7 and 0, UCLA at 5 and 1. Two top teams in the league. Waves sit at third at 4 and 3. That shot comes up short. As Taylor missing, and it's 10 to 9, Pepperdine in the second set. And that win by Brigham Young to beat UCLA. And to stand out the rest of the season. And we mentioned the MBSF tournament at Southern Cal, April 17th to the 20th. All seven teams. Akeem uh, uh, Wumi able to keep it alive. Cole with a touch. Ways volley it over. Herget on the backside, uh, knocked down by Edie, but it goes out of bounds. Capona Brown with the point. We'll see number 13, the transfer from Stanford. And inside, the double blockers are there along with Graves. Uh, Brown with 133 kills this year. Actually led the team with 30 aces last season and tops the team with 26 this year. Number 13 for Brigham Young. I weighs uh, Kachansky goes cross court. Kachansky, the power hitter. 6 8 graduate. Waves will honor their seniors tomorrow before the Brigham Young match. It will start at 5 p.m. We'll have it on ESPN Plus. 11 10 Pepperdine, set two. Just another close set. Burgett over the middle. That is. Taylor on the return and drops in. The Waves get the point. It was touched. Pepperdine 12, Brigham Young 10. Out of about 500, a lot of students have turned out. And ready for Easter week. And James Eady. We just have to thank Ethan Watson, who technically leads the nation, didn't have enough kills, but he's hitting 571. Redshirt freshman and getting the point. It is Gavin Julian, 12 to 11 Pepperdine. Uh, we have not seen Ethan Watson. We can only uh, surmise that he may be injured. He is suited up. He is on the bench. But uh, James Eady has performed well. Uh, three kills in a block. Dave Chavarri already with four blocks in this in this match, and we're only just about midway through set number two. And you see number seven, Ethan Watson. Number 10, De Chavarria. 13 to 11, Pepperdine. Boy, back and forth they go. Forget over the middle, pounding it there. It is Gavin Julian once again. And that quick attack, if the blocking is strong. The Waves have blocked well tonight. Now blocking BYU, 9-7. to 
All right, Luke Benson at the service line. And comes up short. Side out, Pepper 14-12 waves. Boy, neither team can get a handle on this match. He's set so close. Waves now hitting 404 uh, against a strong Brigham Young team. The Cougars hitting 250. And a service there and side out back to Brigham Young. The uh, Cougars. Uh, Little and to serve. Yeah. Get possession. Bring it into play. Along the sidelines, Gavin Julian, number 10. It's Ian Little, a 6'5 sophomore from Temecula, California. Plays. Akeem Mumi with a kill. But the Waves' ability to handle the ball and handle Brigham Young's serve. It's been a big difference so far in this match. 15 to 13, Pepperdine, triple blockers there. Again, Akeem Wumi with a vertical jump and reach of about 40 inches plus in 6'5". He was all conference last year, honorable mention as a middle blocker, but playing his natural position as the outside. 2019, he was the CIF Southern Section Player of the Year. And this is Ramones going cross court. 15 to 14, Pepperdine, number 23, Mix Romanus. All right, the Cougars again. The setter, Tyler Herget, transfer from Penn State, was a reserve with the Nittany Lions, always a powerhouse. And Shear, ranked number nine in the nation. Akeem Wilmy over the block, diving save. As the Cougars get it over, it goes out of bounds. Point to Pepperdine. Boy, Adam did a nice job to keep that in play. The sophomore from Brazil, the libero. You see Jonathan Winder, who also coached Pepperdine men's volleyball team for one year in 2014. Helped the Waves to a national title in 2005 as a freshman. Well, quite a team, Brad Keenan, Sean Rooney. Rooney was an out 6-9 opposite. In the plan, you know, the U.S. Olympic team. Brad Keenan was 6'11 in the middle. You see Sean Olmstead played at Brigham Young, was a top libero, graduated back in 2005. Now the winner, graduated in 2008. Ways mistimed that and cannot make the play. 16 to 16. You see her getting number three, and now Mix Romanus. To bring it into play. Got 13 aces on the year. At 22 last season, but he got a strong jump serve. Waves cover, and then Akeem Wumi, but that shot goes out of Bowler saying mishandling the ball against Pepperdine. And Waves thought they had the point. And Jonathan Winder off the bench and can't believe the call. And showing Heather Pickett, the down official. Let's take another look. The left hand was open, and he held it too long, and the Waves can't believe it. What? And John the winner just shakes his head. That's a big play, 17-16, Cougars. Waves thought they had the point and the lead back. Waves on the offensive, outside, Akeem Wumi, and this time the block is no good. Deion Taylor defending, and we're even at 17. It will be a, a keen moving to bring it into play. Waves won the first set, an absolute four, 26 to 24, 18 ties and six lead changes. Waves hitting 392 for the match, Cougars 239, Diggs 14 to 12, Cougars a service air, and side out to Brigham Young. 18 17, Brigham Young. Kevin Julian back in. Noah Hain comes in, a 6'3 junior from Honolulu. Brother Wiley, who plays at Concordia. Uh, Noah Hain. 
18-17 Cougars up. This set just as close as the first set. One by Pepperdine. Size jump serve. Cole able to receive outside. Kachansky, ball is popped up. Cougars get it over, over the middle, tapped over. Diving save on the other side of the Cougars. Pepperdine keeps it in play over the middle. Shot by Edie is good. Boy, quite a rally. Pepperdine able to get the point. That off the blocks by Ryan Graves. And then it goes to Edie, who gets the put away. And we're even at 18. And Alex Mukai will come in, a talented 6'5 graduate, a transfer for Princeton from Canada, he's on the Canadian Junior National Team, played at Princeton for four years, and he's got a strong jump serve. Good top spin, ball movement outside, the shot no good. Attack air, missed by Luke Benson. 19-18, Pepperdine down the stretch. Let's see if this is going to be challenged. The point will stand. Point number nine. Waves will get the point. Maybe just not enough evidence to overturn it. And so Sean Olmstead will go back to the bench and says, okay, took a shot. So they lose one of their challenges. 19-18, Pepperdine. Waves won the first set 26 to 24, and it was that close throughout. And the second set, no different. Waves serving Murkai. Herget runs it down, firing away, and that is Luke Benson. Power hitter Deluxe. And leads this team, leads the Cougars with 178 kills, hitting 316. 6'7 junior out of Newberry Park. Watch the power. Couple blockers there. 19 to 19. By one point at a time, nobody can get any kind of a run outside. Kachansky knocked down up front by Herget. Again, Kachansky. Herget sets, goes outside to Benson, and it was tucked to the point for Brigham Young. Kevin Julian defending another top middle blocker for BYU. It's 2019. Brigham Young. Well, a match coming up on one hour for every point. So tough to get. At the end of set number two. Just get the feeling this is going to go five. The chance get over the block. We get a whistle. Are they going to say the shot probably hit the antenna or did go out of bounds? It was the same. Pepperdine takes a timeout. 21-19, Brigham Young, second set. Wesley, one nothing. You're watching the MBSF on ES Pepperdine fans. Boy, the waves in the second Saturday, 042. They struggle with the serve and a service ace for Brigham Young. 22 to 19. I think that's the biggest lead by either team throughout the first two sets. The Cougars are hitting 0 0 0 for the match. Pepperdine 351, Brigham Young 240. And both teams had strong first sets, and the defenses and serving has gotten much better. Great serve once again, a service ace. Capono Brown once again, 23 to 19. Let's see Bernardo Adam, the libero. Yeah, Brown, their top server, came into the match leading the team with 26 aces, led the team last year. Transfer from Stanford, another jump serve. Cole over the middle, De Chavaria. It goes back outside, off the blocks, and a point to Brigham Young. Luke Benson again, set point number one, a late rally, five straight for Brigham Young. It was all tied at 19, then they had that call. So it's 24-19, trying to even the match in one set apiece. Hunter Brown with the liver. Good, strong jump serve. The waves go outside to Kachansky, the block. In the wave, they do get it over. Back to Brigham Young, over the middle, pounding it down. Gavin Julian, waves get it back. Kachansky finally, the block is there. Furget and Gavin Julian, and 
good one. Goes a couple years ago, Pepperdine was playing Long Beach State. Long Beach State had one ace and 28 service errors. Still won the match. They hit 440, but they gave away a lot of points. All right, early on, the block goes out of bounds. Uh, one to nothing, Brigham Young. Luke Benson once again. AC Cole Kachansky. Uh, Cougars. Uh, well, again, have been off 13 days, weren't quite as sharp in the first set. Really picked it up in the second set. They went on a 6-0-1 when the match was tied at 19 apiece to come away with the win. Serve has gotten much better for Brigham Young and the Waves uh, able to get the point. <laughs> Ryan Barnett coming up big. We're tied at one. But again, with the Waves, one ace, 11 errors, and you're going to run into trouble. Ace to air ratio, and then is a little off kilter, and but for the Cougars, outstanding. Three aces, just five airs. They're keeping the ball in play. Even so, if they don't get an ace, they're making it difficult for Pepperdine to get into their offense. Graves on the backside, Barnett. Our officials for tonight's match, up official Matthew LeBeau, and the down official is Heather Pickett. Nice step by Graves. Through the blockers, Benson was there oh, with Julian. Well, Ryan Graves, the offensive player of the week after the wins over USC and Concordia. Got 23 assists so far. Match over an hour old already. And Luke Benson again. Right now, he's unstoppable. It is tied at two. You see Sean Olmstead is ninth year. Down with the winner leading Pepperdine in his second season. And the winner, National Player of the Year in 2005 and in 2007. As a freshman, helped lead the Waves to a national title in 2005. All right, Waves on the offensive. Barnett goes cross court to Akeem Wumi, who taps it over. Cougars again, able to volley. Graves up, back row. Oh, what a block up front, but the Waves keep it in play, but we get a whistle. We might get a net against Pepperdine and the points of Brigham Young. That apparently is the call. And it's 3 2 Brigham Young. They watch this. Watch this block by Julian. Back row attack is right there. He is long and athletic. He's 6'8, but he plays a lot taller. And a tremendous athlete. Two outstanding teams squaring off. The shot misses. And the Cougars score. Pepperdine, too. Brigham Young will be. Home against Concordia next Friday and Saturday. For Pepperdine after this weekend, of course, Trey Cole again has been busy back there. They go go to Barnett, shot no good. Point to Brigham Young. And the Cougars starting to roll again that serve. And the Waves. Trying to get their offense in gear. Luke Benson again. It is 5-2, Brigham Young. But after this weekend, the Waves' uh, next match won't be until the 5th of April. Or make it the 30th of March when they play at USC. A week from Saturday. All right, Waves on the offense of uh, Akeem Wumi. Covered by Brigham Young. They go to Romanus off the blocks. Akeem Wumi with a touch. Pepper on another chance. Barnett with a tap and drops it in. A uh, nice read by Ryan Barnett, the sophomore. Barnett played with the Waves last season. And quite a bit, uh, over 60 kills. Uh, two blockers went over it. On the way down, he taps it just deep into the corner. Five to three Cougars. The uh, Waves up. Uh, at USC a week from Saturday after this weekend. And a block up front, Ryan Barnett, James Eady coming up big. You we'll see Ryan Barnett, red shirt sophomore, out of Long Island, New York, 6'5. Five. five to four, Pepperdine down. We are even at one set apiece. Jump floater. They go on the backside uh, and tapping it over. It is Capono Brown. Mm -hmm. Number 13 having a big match. 
his fifth kill. Benson with 13 for Pepperdine. Akeem, Akeem Wumi with 11. That's Gavin Julian to bring it into play. 6-4 BYU. I toss and delivers up. Graves on the backside. Barnett knocked down up front. That was Romanus defending, but the waves come right back. James Eady. Taylor and Romanus both defending. They got the block the first time, but the waves come right back. Six to five. Ryan Barnett rocks and fires. Cougars again on a quick attack. Tion Taylor. Tion Taylor. This is first kill of the match. Right, Tyler Hergett, the transfer from Penn State, the center, to bring it into play. 7-5 Cougars up. Graves up on the backside. Barnett misfires out of bounds. Up. BYU 8, Pepperdine 5. Well, for Pepperdine, who won six in a row and seven of eight. They've been playing well. Forget once again. Well, for BYU, almost a must-win situation. At least come out of here with a split. A team wounded. Bernardo Adam, too hot to handle. Talk about a power hitter. Watch this. Way up the ladder. Boom. Eight to six Cougars. Well, other than that late run by BYU in the second set, this is one one point back and forth. Kim Woomi. Herget runs it down. The outside of Capono Brown, the block up front. James Eady coming up big. Number 26. All down to start tonight. The coaches really like him. They, they think he has a great court presence and understanding of the game. Always in the right place at the right time, and his timing is excellent. Came Wormy again. Outside Brown off the blocks. Graves and Edie both there. Capono Brown. 9 7 Brigham Young. And now with six kills, hitting 286. Ryan Barnett with eight kills, hitting 250. And the coaches would like to see those outside hitters at 300 to 350, the middles 350 to 400. With the ideal numbers that you're looking at. Backside and back row attack. Barnett goes out of bounds. Well, the waves uh, That's some pretty good looks. 10 to 7, Brigham Young. Think about John in the winter along the sidelines. He is not afraid to make a change. <coughs> He's got a deep bench. High Graves goes outside of Kajanski. And this time it was touched. Ten a point for Pepperdine. Oh, Kajanski then had gotten away from him for a while. A transfer from UCLA. Mitch Roman is talking to Sean Olmstead. You see Romanus with five kills today. Six digs. Waves go with the floater. Herget on the backside. And Capono Brown, but missed him wide. Ten to nine, good. Wave serving, James Eady. And we can only think that Ethan Watson, who is suited up, the talented freshman, both of them, Eady and Watson. Nice block up front, Graves and De Chavaria. Again, the outside, Benson. Oh, diving save by De Chavaria. Adam is there, hit over, and it goes out of bounds. Point to Pepperdine. For a couple of great plays on both sides. Bernardo Adam on one for Brigham Young. De Chavaria for Pepperdine on another. More than that, a point well earned by the Waves. And we're even at 10 in the third set. And that comes up short, side out. Again for the Waves, one ace and 12 airs. 
They can come back to haunt you, but the Waves continue to try to put pressure on a strong offensive team like Brigham Young. This is Tion Taylor, the middle blocker. 11-10 Cougars. The pivotal third set. Ryan Graves outside to Kachansky. Ball pops up, hits the beams, hits it twice and goes out of bounds. Uh, again, those steel beams, Kachansky will get the point, and those lights sit rather low. When they do go over the ground rules, you can't see it's out of the picture, but invariably once or twice during the course of a match, it will hit a light, even once it knocked out a light or one of the beams, but they go over the ground rules. As long as the ball comes back on the same side, it's in play. Outside, Brown firing away. Diving effort by Graves. 12 to 11 Cougars, and now Capone Brown. This is the guy the Cougars wanted the service line. Brown to serve. You a strong jump serve. 26 aces coming in. Pepperdine's leader is Cole Kachansky with 19. Jump serve. Waves on the offensive outside. Kachansky drops it over. Great save by Adam along with her get. And then the shot comes up short. Ramos hit comes up into the net, and we're even at 12. We got a timeout. to Benson who rips it, waves cover, back row to Kachansky, ball popped up, sent over by Herget. Now with 12 kills in 348. Waves get back to lead, 13 to 12. Waves and Cougars tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock, 11 on ESPN Plus. Cougars on the offensive, they go to Capono Brown. Waves knock it down. The ball goes out of bounds. Point to Pepperdine. 14 to 12 waves. It has been that close. Every squaring off. So what's the MPSF tournament going to be like? Outside, Benson off the blocks. They just had the blockers there. You look at the Cougars record at 11 and 7. And they have dropped four of their last six. They lost two to Grand Canyon, but they beat UCLA and that maybe their biggest win. And the Waves have the lead in the third set, 15 to 13. We get an official timeout. The difficulties, I think we're back on once again. Kind of about 500, maybe a few more on hand. A lot of the students have come out and sitting below. Yeah, we might even have six, 700 on hand. Over the middle, Ryan Barnett at the net. 16-13. Play by Barnett, who now with nine kills. And Pepperdine Suming. A crucial moment in this third set, even in the match. Outside, Romanus drives it, waves able to control. Back to Akeem Wumi off the blocks. Akeem Wumi able to come up big. Who has 13 kills, hitting 391, making 14, and with seven digs. And waves up 17 13. 
Team Dave Chavarria, jump floater. It's a different look to give the Cougars outside. John Stanley playing the outside. A different look for Brigham Young. Stanley at 6-2. He's also an excellent boy and a defensive specialist. 17-14, makes a 3-0 run for the Waves. And so the Cougars to bring it into play. Jump serve, boy, what a great serve. Ball goes up, hits one in the fixtures, and then service ace. Boy, what a serve by Ian Little. 6'5 sophomore from Temecula. My great location. Once again, the high toss, the left hander goes cross court, giving the waves a little bit of trouble. Waves, it goes into the right, hits the steel beam. Again, the serve. And back to back, strong serve by Little. And Pepperdine going to take a timeout. Waves still have the lead. Seven at the Waves sitting 217. The Cougars own 95. And he got the ace. Trips for Ian Little. The time is 17. Boy, it's changed the dynamics of this, this third set. I mean, these are tough serves to handle. And a left hander on a roll. High toss, rocks him, fires the waves again. Cannot handle it. Four straight points in Little. And the Cougars have the lead, 18-17, on a 4-0 run on the Serbian of Ian Little. Well, that really changed things up. It's like going to your bullpen and coming off the bench. Little one more time, uh, delivers. This time he missed it. The Cougars the lead, and now we're tied at 18 in set number three. I guess congratulations from his teammates, number 14, Ian Little. Jack Waves. Waves serving. It'll be Alex Murkai, the transfer from Princeton. They've got him out of the NCAA portal. Well, that has changed collegiate athletics. We asked the coach, what do you need next year? So we have no idea. Don't know it's coming back. Who's coming in? Oh, a service ace. It was a touch. Yeah. Great serve. Great top spin. Downward motion on the serve by Murkai. 19-18. Pepperdine trying to get the momentum back and come with their own top server. Murkai, the high toss, delivers. I say by Fife, they go outside. Stanley with a quick hitter. Well, Stanley is 6 2. Another guy who goes up the ladder. There you see, number four. Another player off the bench for Brigham Young. And we're tied at 19. I set by Ergat. Ergat, the setter, the transfer from Penn State. Let's see the waves. Uh, officials checking something, maybe the rotation. 19-19, third set. Plays one set one, 26-24. Cougars the second set, 25-19. Down official Heather Pickett looking at... Okay, they've settled down. On Olmstead maybe questioning the rotation of Pepperdine. And they did check it. Everything looks good. I have waves on the offense of Kim Woomey. Goes cross court. 2019 Pepperdine. Team Mumi, the graduate, 6'5. Waves will bring in Brendan Reed at the service line, the 6'4 redshirt sophomore from Newport Beach, uh, defensive specialist uh, Libero. And another strong server for the Waves. Uh, crucial moments in set number three. Deciding third set. Run down by Herga. 
They go outside, Waves able to control. Graves goes outside like a chance game, knocked down the block. Capone Brown, Gavin Julian. Megatian Taylor. Big defensive play by Brigham Young. We're tied at 20. All right, Taylor, jump serve, a lot of ball movement. Waves again go over the block. Burgett gets a touch. Fife has the set. They go to Benson. It was touched. And the Cougars get the point. 21 to 20, Brigham Young. Right, for BYU getting some great play off their bench. Ian Little in the serve, John Stanley, an excellent ball handler, and a couple of kills also in a good jump serve. Uh, back row attack uh, covered. They joust at the net, one by Brigham Young. It comes back to Pepperdine. Cole pounds it. Fight. Ball tapped over. We get a whistle. We're going to get a back row violation against Brigham Young. Point to Pepperdine. Big play, 21 to 21. Boy, on both sides, some great plays being made. The serve for Brigham Young. Six aces, just seven air. Even when they don't get an ace, they're putting a lot of pressure on number nine. Service air. Side out Cougars here late. 22-21, Brigham Young. Waves have two aces, 13 airs. Almost a one to seven. Yes. Right, Cougars. And Noah Haynes. That'll give the Waves a different look. Different ball movement, different location. Sends it deep. Graves runs it down. Quick hitter by De Chavaria. Saved by the Cougars. Benson off the blocks. Comes back to Brigham Young. Back to Benson. Goes deep. Cole gets a touch. Waves again. Kachansky with the hit. And Brigham Young one more time. The high set. Benson. Luke Benson. Another great rally. Trey Cole coming up. Cougars serving Noah Haim once again. Jump serve, top spin. Waves on the offensive. Got chance to below the block. Up one. Capone Brown, Gavin Julian. 24 21, Brigham Young. Set point number one in the third set. The Cougars trying to go up two to one. Cougars ranked number seven in the nation. Just split with Stanford a couple weeks ago, winning on the road. All right, Pepperdine. Kachansky firing the ball returned. Waves again over the middle. Big shot of Rio. Waves had to work for it. Set point number two, 24-22 in favor of Brigham Young. Jackson Vibe still in at Libero for Brigham Young. I wait serving. They got to keep it in play. Ryan Graves to jump serve. On the outside, Benson with a rip. The shot is good. And Brigham Young wins. 25 to 22. Teams will change sides. Five kill. Now oh, we get ready for set number four. Two to one, Brigham Young. Cougars moving left to right, and the serve goes out of bounds. And a point to Pepperdine. They'll get the ball. Cougars in their dark uniforms in the for tonight's match. Up official is Matthew Laveau. Down official Heather Pickett. Kind of about maybe seven, eight hundred on hand at Firestone Fieldhouse to watch a good one. And in the back row attack, Webb's able to keep it alive and get it over. Burgett again, this time goes outside. Stanley shot a 10, no good. Well, Waves able to handle Luke Benson's hit. Amazing. Coming out of the back row attack, so difficult to defend. Waves ranked number eight in the nation. Brigham Young, number seven. 
Cougars just 11 and 7 on the year. Pepperdine 16 and 5. Outside by Brown. Waves double to cover. Go back row to Gachansky. We're going to get, let's see, double contact against Pepperdine and a point to Brigham Young. So it's 2 to 1 in favor of Pepperdine in set number four. Waves won the first set, 26-24. Cougars won the second, 25-19. Brigham Young the third, 25-22. All right, John Stanley again, another player coming off the bench to spark Brigham Young over the middle, Gate Chavaria. They go outside, Benson firing away. Graves with a touch, Gate Chavaria, and the ball knocked down up front, and a point, Gavin Julian. Pepperdine in third place in the standings. They see Jackson Fife in for Bernardo Adam, who injured himself, cut his hand, and has not returned. Race four and three in third place in the standings. Cougars are two and four, tied for fourth and fifth with Stanford. Ball kept in play by Pepperdine. They go back to Akeem Wumi. Triple blockers, and the ball goes out of bounds. Uh, Herget was there along with Julian. Had a party defending that, but the return went out of bounds. Three to two, Pepperdine in set number four. Plays now. We have won six in a row, seven of eight, and are ten and two at home this year. They're down two sets to one. So it goes out of bounds. Waves who got up to such a great start. You see Luke Benson having a big, big match. 17 kills. 6'7 junior. Actually, the Cougars, for the most part, are relatively a young team. Julian is a senior. And uh, a point for Brigham Young and now building their energy and momentum. Gavin Julian once again, but you look at her gets a sophomore. Fife is a sophomore. Adam is a sophomore. Romanus is a junior. Brown is a senior. Benson's a junior. Keon Taylor's a junior. So the Cougars, best is yet to come. Akeem, Akeem Roman. Braves have a lot of youth. Of course, James Beattie, the freshman. Ryan Graves, the setter, a freshman. But the Braves do have a, someone over there, a veteran team. Kuchansky, a graduate. Big Chabaria, a graduate. Dana King Wumi serving, also a graduate senior. That one gets away. Five to four in favor of Brigham Young in the fourth set. Right, Brigham Young will get the ball back. And the Cougars, who in their two wins in the sets, have rallied late in each one. Went on a 6 0 1 in set number two, and then a late rally in set number three to take a 2 to 1 lead. Kachansky off the blocks. Well, Kachansky from the outside, the UCLA transfer, 6 8 graduate senior. See Martin de Chavarria, another graduate senior. And he will be at the service line at 6 7. Plays on the Spain's junior national team. We're tied at five. And Waves moving right to left. And now every point so important for Pepperdine to get this to a fifth set off the blocks. And we get a whistle. It's going to be, I guess, a net against Brigham Young and a point to Pepperdine. 6 5 Waves. Chavaria once again at the service line. But hard to fathom that Brigham Young is 2 and 4 in league and have dropped four of their last six. But I guess when you're playing Grand Canyon at Stanford, playing UCLA, schedule so strong between. The MPSF, every team is that good. Even Concordia has got a good young, talented team. The block goes out of bounds. And the point to Brigham Young. And we're even at six. And the match has been so close throughout. Cougar serving. Play is able to control. They go outside of Kachansky over the block. Punched over by Brigham Young. Pepperdine again back to Kachansky. Goes deep. 
diving save back there by Benson on the other side. The block up run. Anderson Buller, the 6'9 senior, just put into the lineup, a four-year starter, and comes up big with the block. Alex Murkai also in the lineup for Pepperdine, the 6'5 graduate, the transfer from Brinson. So the Waves make some changes. The thing about Jonathan Winter, he's not afraid to bring somebody off the bench. Waves have the lead, seven to six in set four. Number nine serving uh, Ryan Graves. Uh, Cougars struggle with it. And that lets see a whistle. Ball goes out of bounds and a point to Pepperdine. Uh, Ryan Graves, the freshman, 8 6 Pepperdine in the fourth set. And John Stanley in the back row, excellent ball handler. Although it's 6 2, he is long and he is athletic, but he's much taller than the 6 2 frame. Graves serving. Herget, quick hitter over the middle. Waves cannot come up with it. Tion Taylor. Well, eight to seven, Pepperdine. In set number four, if it goes five sets, and the Cougars have had enough of them, and there are 18 matches, they have had six go five sets, and they're three and three. Pepperdine has had three matches go five sets. They are 3-0 and oh in their 21 matches overall. Fuller over the middle, pounds it. Ball sent back by Brigham Young. They go outside the step there by Mackay, able to score. It was touched by BYU. Waves and Cougars tomorrow at 5 p.m. We'll have it on ESPN Plus. And then next weekend, it will be Brigham Young home against Concordia on the 29th and 30th. Waves will be at USC on Saturday the 30th. Uh, the season winds down and postseason on the horizon tapped over. Waves on the offensive. They go back row. Murkai and able to score. Alex Murkai coming off the bench. Cole Kachansky will serve, 10-7 Pepperdine. They're trying to settle down. Murkai in the year, 45 kills, hitting 372, has 11 aces. He's also an excellent ball handler. And again, he's a graduate senior, the transfer from Princeton. Kachansky, good top spin on the serve, back row attack, and that miss fires out of bounds. Boy, that one just missed time by Benson. Cougars take a timeout. Waves have the lead in set four, down lead. It had been such a tough, hard-fought match. Cougars on the outside, Stanley again. 6-2, uh, very quick and athletic. He is a senior from Honolulu. He gets up there, double blockers were there. It's 11-8, Pemberdine. Waves won the first set, 26-24. Good, strong serve by Brown. Waves go on the backside. Alex Kai once again. Both coaches using their bench. And Pepperdine now with Anderson Fuller and Alex Murkai coming in. For BYU, it's been the serving of Noah Hayne and Ian Little. Now John Stanley on the court for Brigham Young. And made a difference in this match. Both teams are very deep down in the squad. Anderson Fuller also coming off the bench to help, but that time the serve gets away. It's 12 to 9, Beverdine. And John Stanley once again to bring it into play. Now Stanley, strong jump serve, a good location. Waves that came wormy with a put down. Special thanks to our entire game on entertainment crew. Our director tonight, Miguel Arciega. Producing Archie Corazani and Christian Soler. Our on-site producer, Kristen Elizondo. Special thanks to our Pepperdine Athletics Communications Department. To Sarah Ottoman, James Hansen, Morgan Davenport, and Morgan Cheatham. Oh, do such a great job. Cougars able to pound it cold with a touch. Waves on the outside. It came wounded the kill. nine, 14, Brigham Young 9 in the fourth set. And if they go to a set 5, they'll play the 15. You must win by 2 and there is no cap. Jay Cole tonight with 8 digs and 3 assists. The libero for Pepperdine. 
Waves serving good top spin ball movement over the middle. Waves again keep it in play. Quick hitter by Graves. A joust at the net. One by Pemberdine, but it goes out of bounds. One that didn't want to win. Point to Brigham Young. 14 to 10 waves. And you see Luke Benson, 17 yeah, kills. Uh, 343, that's 35 swings. Capono Brown with nine kills. And he won 90, but he has three aces, six digs, and four blocks. The right, Cougars go with the jump loader. Graves uh, came woomy, firing away. Nice save there by Gavin Julian, volleyed over by Benson. Pepperdine again, I came Woomy with a smash. Well, seemingly have settled down and able to handle Brigham Young's serve a little better. 15 to 10, Pepperdine in the fourth. Cougars lead, two sets to one. They have been down this row before, six, five, seven matches already. Well, they are three and three. And this one goes out of bounds. 15 to 11, Cougars get the ball back and trailing by four. You see Jackson Fife over Bernardo Adam, who hurt himself earlier in the match, cut a hand and has not returned. All right, Tyler Herget, the center, the transfer from Penn State. The jump serve. Graves uh, outside of Kachansky drives it. Covered by BYU on the other side. Benson, and the block goes out of bounds. Jay Chavaria defending along with Ryan Graves. 15 to 12, Pepperdine. I think another point here. The Waves just might take a timeout. Tyler Herget once again. 6'2", sophomore from Darien, Connecticut. That's 17 aces coming in. Waves on the offensive. Graves on the backside of Kim Rumi. Back row attack. Well done by Ryan Graves, the setter for Pepperdine. He has 40 assists on the night. Big point for the Waves. 16 to 12, Pepperdine. Lucas up two sets to one. Brendan Reeves. Brendan Reeves will come in for the Waves. Strong server, Jonathan Winder along the sidelines in his second year. Took something off of it. Herget runs it down on the backside. And this is Benson. The Waves come up with the block. Anderson Buller, the 6'9 senior. To see Anderson, a four year starter for the Waves. He's 6 9 out of Manlius, New York, in the upstate. And comes off the bench and did a good job at the net defending. 17 12, Pepperdine over the middle. No doubt, Tion Taylor. 17 13, a long way to go in this fourth set. Taylor at 6'6", six, six, the junior. I'm going to a state player of the year. All service ace. The Cougars, Luke Benson delivering. Benson who came in with 17 aces. The Cougars have seven aces, just eight service errors. Waves have two aces, 17 service errors. Benson again. Even if they're not getting an ace, they're putting so much pressure on Pepperdine. Kachansky once again, kept alive by Brigham Young. They go outside the block up front. Nice job, Anderson Buller coming up off the bench. Cole Kachansky. 18-14 Pepperdine. You see Anderson number five. Ray serving. Herget over the middle of the block up front, Fuller and Kachansky. Let a, let's see a whistle. Heather Pickett uh, along one of the officials. Uh, watch the defense. Anderson Fuller coming up big. Uh, we're going to get championships at Long Beach State April 30th, uh, May the 4th. Top eight teams outside the block. 
Fuller again at Gachansky on Capone Brown. Boy, Anderson Buller has come off the bench to spark Pepperdine defensively. The 6'9 Xavier. By Ryan Gray, 2014 Pepperdine. Probably the biggest lead by either team throughout this match in a little over two hours in length. Ryan Graves. Cougars. Hergep runs it down. They go outside to Stanley. The overpass. Cougars again, but they struggle. And Pepperdine gets the point. Right, both coaches have done a nice job utilizing their benches. Uh, it certainly has made a difference for Brigham Young. And now Pepperdine with Alex Murkai and Anderson Buller coming in. Luke Benson returns. Benson with 19 kills, hitting 342. Akina came wooming with 21 kills, hitting 471 and eight digs. Graves again. They go outside uh, with the smash hit. Rominous. Well, Mitch Rominous comes up with a kill. Much needed for Brigham Young. 21 15. Pepperdine. And one on one blockers. Uh, nice read by Herget, who has 37 assists and nine digs tonight. And Cougars to serve. And they bring in their secret weapon, Ian Little. Who helped drive the Cougars in the last set to a win? Another strong serve. Cole able to handle it outside. Mercai with the stuff. He won with his left hand. So I give Trey Cole a lot of credit receiving that strong serve. 22 15. You see Alex Mercai, uh, Kane and Kane Wumi. All right, Cole Kachansky. They will try to get this to a fifth set. Well, they are unbeaten this year at 3-0. Last year, they went 1-6. Boy, those five-set matches can make or break your season. Service Sayer, side down Brigham Young. 22-16 in Jackson Bife, number six. And now it'll be Capone Brown. A fantastic match. Nine kills, three aces, six digs, and four blocks. The transfer from Stanford. Good, strong serve. Waves go outside. We get a whistle. We're going to get mishandling the ball against Pepperdine. A point to Brigham Young, 22 to 17 waves. A series that dates back to 1974. And BYU leads the series 41 to 38 and won both matches last year in Brobo. All right, Capone Brown one more time. High toss delivers Cole again. Graves uh, sets Akeem Wumi, who pounds it. Ball tapped in the air. Herget goes outside to Rominus and the point. Mitch Rominus, number 23. All-American last year. Pepperdine will take a time. The Cougars, 183. All right, Graves uh, sets Mercai. The ball is touched. Alex Mercai. 23-18, Pepperdine. Joe DeLuzio, who was the starter last year, will come off the bench and will be at the service line. DeLuzio, 6'6", redshirt junior on the Windermere, Florida. Had over 200 kills last year. Waves, who finished in fifth last season. The Cougars finished in second last year. Jump serve goes out of bounds. Side out to Brigham Young, 23-19. Pepperdine, Luke Benson, number one. Now her get three, ten. Gavin Julian. All right, John Stanley. The waves are really good. And out. It was ruled out of bounds, and the call will stand. Point to Brigham Young. Well, but John, the winner, he loses one of his challenges. Again, if it goes to a fifth set, each coach will get an additional challenge. There you see Sean Olmstead, ninth season, a four-time MBSF Coach of the Year. Also coached the Brigham Young Women's Volleyball Program from 2011 through 2014, won the conference in 2012, and was the conference Coach of the Year, coaching the Women's Volleyball Program. That is volleyball. Brigham Young was a top libero and graduated in 2005. Oh, they'll talk to the scorekeeper. 
23-19, Pepper 9, and she had their picket. All right, we're ready to go. John Stanley once again come off the bench. Service air. Away is set point number one. 24-19. They've done a nice job in this fourth set, bouncing back after losing a tough third set. Jump serve goes out of bounds. Set point number two for Pepperdine. With Benson, 19 kills. Akeem Akeem Wormy leading Pepperdine with 21. I know Hain. To surf for the Cougars. Set point number two. Now Tosh about to roll the dice. Waves at the net. Waves with a quick hit. And Pepperdine's won. We are heading to a fifth set. James will change sides. Pepperdine, Brigham Young. Set number two. Waves are three and oh in five set matches. The Cougars are three and three in five setters. Well, play to 15, you must win by two. There is no ceiling wave serving service air. To start things off, Pepperdine moving right to left. They will change when the score gets to eight, either team. Officials for tonight's match, the up official Matthew LeBeau, the down official Heather Pickett. Teams will go at it again tomorrow, 5 p.m. We'll have it on ESPN Plus. Right, Capone Brown, magnificent match. That gets away. The match is two hours and 15 minutes in length. Waves ranked number eight in the nation. Brigham Young number seven. They are 11 and seven on the year. Early tied for fourth in the league with Stanford at two and four. Pepperdine 16 and five. Ranked number eight in the country. They're in third place in the league standings at four and three. Cougars on the offensive. Benson taps it over. Waves cover. Back to a game woman. Team Wormy with 22 kills. Two to one, Pepperdine in the fifth set. We see double blockers. Herget was there. They won the first set 26 24. Cougars the second 25 19. Cougars the third 25 22. Pepperdine the fourth 25 to 20. Crowd really into it tonight. Benson comes up with a score. Benson with his 20th kill. Well, I've seen two outstanding teams squaring off. I just kind of expected it was going to go five. All right, Benson to bring it into play. Waves on offense. That came Woomy with a smash up. Evan Julian was there along with Tyler Hergat. Kim Woomy continues to have a great match. He's got nine digs to go along with 23 kills, hitting better than 400. Three to two, Pepperdine in the fifth set. Right, Kim Woomy serving and delivers up. Herget, quick hitter there by Gavin Julian. Waves able to punch it back. Back row attack, and that's Capone Brown going cross court. Big point for Brigham Young, 3-3. Three, three. Boy, for one of these teams, going to be a huge win, but the other is going to be a heartbreaking loss. All the emotion, the energy, the intensity throughout. Gavin Julian to serve. Little blocker for the Cougars. Wave struggled at, and then the stuff up front by Rominus. 4 3 Cougars. They struggle with that serve. It really has been a differential, a key for Brigham Young. This serve has been outstanding. A lot of pressure on Pepperdine. The wave's still hitting better than 300, 303. At the net again, waves tap it over. Herget on the backside. Capono Brown, ball tapped in the air, kept alive. Waves again, all the block up run. Tion Taylor. Uh, waves.
Rice had a great look, and Taylor with a huge stop. Five to three, Brigham Young, Julian again. High toss delivers, Pepperdine. Graves outside, Kachansky with a push. Covered by Brigham Young, Romanus firing away. Backed over the waves, Murkai. Kept in play by Brigham Young. They go outside. Shot no good by Romanus. He just missed it. Big point for Pepperdine. Five to four. Brigham Young set five. Joe Deluzio will come in to serve for Pepperdine. Way's moving right to left. And they're white and blue. They see Jackson fight the libero. Cougars in their dark uniforms. The blue. Rays cannot afford to give away any more points, but they got to keep pressure on BYU's offense. Tapped over by Taylor. Rays cannot control. It's six to four, Brigham Young. You see Luke Benson along the sidelines. The Cougars. Tyler Herget. The transfer from Penn State, the setter. Good jump serve. Outside, Kachansky blocked back up front. Taylor there, along with Brown. Kachansky again goes inside and gets the kill. Anderson Fuller back on the floor for Pepperdine for defense. This 6 9 presence was the key in that fourth set. As a triple block is on Kachansky, and he read it well and went cross court. Six to five, Brigham Young. Boy, the team that comes up short in this one is going to have a hangover for tomorrow. They'll have to get rid of it quickly. Outside, uh, Mitch Romanus. Big point, seven to five, BYU. Romanus, eight kills tonight. Dapona Brown with 10. Luke Benson with 20. Akina Kim Wumi, 23, topping Bember 9. Kachansky with 9. Barnett with 9. Murkai off the bench with 5. And heading 571. Romanus, good jump serve. Cole able to cover. Makai goes deep. Fife has to set. They go to Capona Brown. Nice block up front. Anderson Fuller there once again on the outside. A great save by Akim Wumi. The Waves get it over. Over the middle. And with the kill. Tion Taylor. Team change sides at eight. The Cougars have the lead. And even when they don't get an ace, they have put a lot of pressure on Pepperdine. All right, Mitch Raman is to serve. Delivers deep. Trey Cole has been busy receiving outside cross court. The shot attempts. And a point for Pepperdine, Alex Murkai. Big point for the Waves coming out of that timeout. Eight to six, Waves down by two. Rakai's given the Waves a nice lift, as well as Anderson Fuller in the middle. And Fuller still in there. And it's six nine, the senior. All right, Cole Kachansky. Waves cannot afford to give away many more points here in set five. Took a little bit off. Well, outside to Benson, all the block up front. Anderson Fuller, Alex Murkai. Anderson Bullock. Coming off the bench, he has come up with six blocks in about a set and a half. Not even that. All right, Kachansky, 8-7, Pepperdine down by one. Another good serve, got an ace. Don't go away. They're watching the MBSF on ESP 24th when they were beaten by Stanford here in Malibu. They ended up beating the Cardinal in the match earlier. All right, Waves, another good serve. Benson from the outside. Pepperdine controls. Akeem Wumi, the block is good. Oh, what a play. Tion Taylor, Tyler Herget. Monumental block for Brigham Young. They get the lead at 9-8. Razor won six in a row and seven of eight. 
Cougars have dropped four of their last seven, sitting on that loss against Stanford 13 days ago when they were shut out 3 0. All right, Cougars with the serve, Ian Little, and gets the left serve, but, but got the ace. They say the ball hit the floor, and Jonathan Window cannot believe it. He thought that ball was kept in play. They thought they had this Cougars 193. The point will stand. The Cougars get the ace. And Little one more time. They talk about a specialist coming off your bench. 10 to 8 Cougars. Winner take all at 15. A strong serve. It's the Raptor Waves. Finally get it over by Fuller. Cougars again. They go on the opposite. Capone Brown. In other sports, they're still staying in the MBSF. They've got an 11 to 8 lead. Set 5. It is Brigham Young moving right to left. And serving. Little once again, that goes out of bounds. Uh, service error. That is only the 11th service error for BYU. They have nine aces. Their service been a big difference in this match. 11 to 9, Everdine will get the ball on the point. The Anderson Buller, who has come off the bench to get six blocks. He will serve, got a good still, he comes up short. For the Waves, three aces, 22 service errors. When we talk about ace to error ratio, one to two, one to three, Waves are looking at about one to seven against a quality team like Brigham Young. 12 9 Cougars. Tono Brown comes up short. Boy, he rolled the dice, didn't he? You're in set five, you're on the road, you're leading. Like a riverboat gambler, you're going to go for it all. And it comes up short. 12 10, Pepperdine down, Alex Mercat. Got a strong jump serve. But he's got to keep it in play. Ryan Barnett comes back in the lineup for Pepperdine. Haven't seen him in a while. And yet he still has nine kills. Mercat, good top spin. Outside of Benson, able to get the point. Well, the ability to handle that serve. All right, the waves up. Take Barnett out, bring Graves in, and now John Stanley checks in for Brigham Young, 13 to 10. BYU. John Stanley, high toss, lets it fly. Trey Cole sets, and Akina King Wumi blocked up front by Brigham Young. Akina Wumi again on the block up front. Ramanus along with Julian and John Stanley trying to wrap it up. Ball goes high in the air, ways Akina Wumi. The shot no good, and Brigham Young has won. Well, let's see if the Waves are going to challenge this. And apparently so. So we're not through just yet. We've been a busy camper. The Waves are going to win the challenge. It was touched. But we will continue 14 to 11. Nice job by Jonathan Winder. Again, as a coach, you talk to your players. So it's match point number two for Brigham Young. Uh, King to King Wumi's got to keep it in play. Still a long road ahead for Pepperdine. Waves hitting 257 for the match. Cougars 207. Good serve. It was touch. Service ace. Match point number three for Brigham Young. It's 14 to 12. Do you call a timeout if you're Brigham Young and Sean Olmstead? Match two hours and 45 minutes in length. 
up came Mumi one more time. Will roll the dice. Delivers short. That's it. Morgan Young wins. 15 to 12. And for the Cougars, a hard. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, huh? Talk about change and the progress we make In the journey of life, it's the path we take From the old to the new We're ever evolving in the cycle of growth We keep revolving, change can be daunting It can make us afraid, but it's also the fuel For the progress we made, through the twists and turns We learn to adapt and embrace the changes Without looking back Change and progress, they go hand in hand in the journey of life, where we make our stand With every step forward, we leave the past behind In the pursuit of progress, in the depths of our mind From the inventions of old, to the technologies of today We're constantly innovating in every single way From the streets we walk, to the skies we saw Progress is the engine that drives us more But progress isn't always linear It's a winding road, with ups and downs and unexpected loads Yet through perseverance and determination strong we push through the challenges where we belong Change and progress, they go hand in hand In the journey of life, where we make our stand With every step forward, we leave the past behind In the pursuit of progress, in the depths of our mind Embrace change and strive for progress Let's remember the journey and all that we possess For in the dance to change And the song of progress will find our purpose And our hearts will digress Yeah In the melody of life let's keep moving on 
in the pursuits of progress where we belong for in the journey of change and the path we trod will find our way forward to the promise of God.